Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. So I'm finally updating you guys on my Rolling Bath & Body Works project pan. As you guys know, I'm constantly trying to de-stash my Bath & Body Works collection. Even though I am always kind of just buying stuff every semi-annual sale, that's the only time I buy more stuff, but I kind of just bulk up, bulk up, stock up for until the next semi-annual sale, so every six months. And the only reason why I really do this is because it can really easily get out of hand because there's just so many yummy scents that you can put on your body. So, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this update. So, I have finished a couple products and I have kind of unpleasant feelings about some of these items. So, let's go ahead and jump in. So I ended up finishing the Coconut Hibiscus Body Cream. I did cut this open because we don't like to be wasteful. I can get like two to three applications after I cut the um, the bottle open. I Okay, so scent-wise, Coconut Hibiscus was not like my favorite. Um, I did bought this, bought this, I did buy this during Linda time, so when I was at Bath & Body Works, I did have a mask on. So honestly, I couldn't properly smell what smelled like what, so I thought this smelled good, but I must have gotten lotion on my mask and didn't smell it properly because I was not the biggest fan. Also, I don't know if this, if it was this product or if it's just my legs being a little bit sensitive from shaving with the changing temperatures while it's still 100 degrees in the daytime like the nighttime is starting to get cool um so you know your skin does change not just your face skin but like the rest of your skin does change when there's a change in weather patterns and my legs just stung whenever i would put this on um and sometimes other lotions too, but especially with this one. If I put this one on on freshly shaved legs um, a couple weeks ago, like my whole leg broke out in bumps. It was painful. It was itchy. It was not pretty. Um, so it was a kind of a little bit of a struggle to use this up. And I, again, I don't know if it was this lotion specifically or if it was just the change of my skin and like shaving on top of that. But um, these two didn't go well. I don't have any more of this scent. I have one more scent so i'm a little cons i'm a little i'm a little concerned that the product might do the same so i'm gonna put off on using that for a while maybe when it's like springtime and it's not too dry but i don't know i just hope that my legs won't be as sensitive till then so i'm gonna put that off um till then but i'm glad i you know i moved this up this sounds like what i'm gonna talk about in <laughs> my empties video but since I did give you like the full rundown here I guess I won't have to go super into it in my empties video officially finished the lush naked lotion also was not the biggest fan of this but we kind of could tell based on my last update um, I haven't decided whether I'm gonna do an update review now that I've finished the entire one um, but I will talk a little bit more why I don't like this in my empties video um, so yeah, stay tuned for that, but also let me know if you want to see a separate video on it or would you rather just have it include in the empties video just because, I don't know, it'd be good to know in regards to like people who aren't subscribed to my channel and are just like wondering about the product itself, you know? Okay, so those are the only two items I ended up finishing, but there are several products that are on their last leg. Let's go ahead and talk about those. So we know, not a fan of the scent of Desert Wildflower. This is the moisturizing body wash. Um, I've tried to pass this off to my mom and every time I ask her if she needs shower gel, she says no, so I've just used it as shaving cream. Sorry if you hear the plane going over the house right now. Um, but I think we're finally reaching the end. I think this will be officially gone by the next update. Um, Again, I don't know if this product also aided in the burning of my skin. I've always used shower gel to shave my legs, but because of it, I have purchased a shower oil just to have more moisture because this is soap, so it could be like drying out my skin as well. Even though this is supposed to be more moisturizing than just regular shower gel from Bath & Body Works, and I've never had a problem shaving with the regular shower gel, so who knows? Maybe it's all just a grab. I 
don't like the scent so I haven't used it on my body ever since that one initial time um, but there really is like one or two shaves left in this and then I'm calling it done um, so yes pretty sure this will be empty by the next time which will be great because I am just sick and tired of this scent I'm not a fan I just I don't even know like what it is like you would think it would smell nice but I don't know it just smells like artificial like flower cactus okay so because this is my last one with me I've really been sparingly using this and because I had issues with like lotion I literally went out and bought a buy it a giant, a giant tub of Aveeno lotion and I've been using that for the most part and then when I feel like I want a little something special I will use this one so as you can see I'm down way down here you could tell that because it's old or I could tell not you could tell because you know you guys aren't using this product but I could tell that just consistency wise it's not very moisturizing anymore it's very runny and it takes a little bit for it to settle into the skin it could be just because of age or it could have been the formula itself um i've used so much lotion i can't even remember <laughs> oh my gosh what is wrong with my words today um i can't even remember what the consistency was like in the other body lotions that i have used up from this purchase um so i i can't say that this was the formula but i'm pretty sure it might be due to the age this came out back in 2016 I don't know if this is a 2016 bottle. I know you guys always tell me like, oh, just look at the date code and blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. If I look at it, it may be 2015. So although I'm pretty sure it came out in 2016, but it might have been manufactured in 2015, whatever. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it really just has one use left. will be gone by the next update. Um, and it's kind of sad because Sunshine Days is one of my top favorite scents that Bath & Body Works has ever created. And of course, it's really hard to find now. And I've debated with whether I want to buy like more of it on eBay or people who are reselling it. That's where how I got like this tree of lotions. I spent like $30 from someone selling it. Um, that's how much I love the scent. But now because, you know, the product is a lot older, it's just, you know, it might not be worth paying that price tag. So, you know, I'm going to save this one last time for a special occasion. And that special occasion is just my boyfriend coming to visit and staying here for a couple days and then it'll be gone but so because I bought the Avena lotion and it has a very light calming scent I have been using another Bath & Body Works product because again I've been saving my sunshine days for a sunny day um I've been using the Waikiki Beach Coconut Body Lotion so I'm like what the heck let's just add it because I've been using it um this formula is super moisturizing this is it just says 24 hour moisture with shea and vitamin E I'm pretty sure there's nothing different but just like comparing like the difference between these two consistency consistency wise and moisturizing wise like this is above and beyond than sunshine days again probably because of age and it's just thicker and I think this also says it has coconut oil so that might be different so I've really been enjoying that I am up to where's the line there right now so I'm a little bit over half um, don't know if I'll finish this because I am kind of like interchangeably using the Avena lotion. If you guys saw my finale from the last couple of years, you guys know that I go through a lot of um, lotion bottles. I go through like 22, 21 a year and I'm tallying up to see like where I'm at so far in 2020 and I'm getting pretty close to that number and I'm trying to reduce my waste because that's pretty wasteful. I wish Bath & Body Works had a recycling program because I don't even know if these actually get recycled or not because it's not your typical thing that recycling um, companies tend to recycle. So I just want to try to use less and because I'm getting close to that number I'm most like I want to say like three times out of five times I will use the big lotion and then those other two times I will use this one just because I don't feel guilty using the big one because there's just so much product in there so it's just you know I'm using one giant bottle then like three little bottles so 
yeah, I don't, like, if I just use this, yes, I think it would be gone by the next update just because of how much lotion. I, I lotion up everything, like, from head to toe, like, everything. I try not to miss. The only places I miss are, like, the places in my back that I can't reach because moisture is super important. Like, it's not just important for your face, it's important for your body, and that's how, like, you keep your skin looking nice as you age. Um... And that's why I really go through it so quickly because I really love the formula of Bath & Body Works lotions. Um, but I have tried Nivea. I don't like the Nivea formula. I have to use a lot and it doesn't even come close to the consistency of this. I tried the Equate version of the Vaseline lotion. I did enjoy that. Um, that one was, you know, decent. But, you know, it didn't have any scent. And actually my brother ended up stealing that one. And I gave the Nivea one to my other brother. And so then a lot of you guys recommended the Avita one and I actually really, really enjoy that one. And it's moisture level wise. It's a lot more expensive in regards to like the drugstore. But it's pretty compatible with the Bath & Body Works formula. So when I'm not doing anything or I'm not, I'm going to take like an, like I'm a night shower, but sometimes I do take a morning shower again to like if I need to do something specific and so if I know that's gonna happen or I know I'm gonna be doing stuff or I'm gonna like sweat it or whatever I'll use the Aveeno one and then again when I want to feel like nice or just want to like have a little boost of happiness I'll use Bath & Body Works now so hopefully I don't get to the number by the end of the year so the number that I have been for the last two years because that's a lot of waste <laughs> I'm adding in one more lotion as, again, the weathers are changing, so the weathers, the weather is changing and I need a little bit more moisture, so I'm adding in the Fiji, Fiji? <laughs> Sunshine Guavatini Body Cream. I did just pick up a lot of this during the semi-annual sale this last time around, so I haven't used this yet, but it smells good. Again, it's still quite warm in the daytime, and it's not even cold at night. It's just cooler, so I feel like using tropical, but on the warm side is probably appropriate for, you know, it's technically fall, but, you know, this is Arizona's fall, so I think this is appropriate because it's warm and fruity, and I usually associate, like, the warm type of scents with, like, fall and winter and blah, 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 so it'll be good um, to use this. Again, slow my roll on a couple of products. Um, including the Aveeno lotion, but I'm not including that in here because, you know, it's whatever. It was $12 for the bottle. <laughs> Let's talk about my sprays. So my Country Apple has been downgraded to a bathroom spray. Um, I have used a, a little bit more. As you can see, the black line underneath the silver line is where I was last time and then here is where I am now again I'd be surprised if this takes me until the end of the year to finish it I don't care it's getting used um my brother tends to be very generous when it comes to room sprays so we go through them pretty quickly and I don't know he's more put off to use this than the room spray so this is hopefully I don't know it's just to kind of stop like using things so much faster because there's a lot of more product in here than the room sprays because it's just spray but it still serves the purpose of freshening up the bathroom with a nice scent and not a number two scent. Since I just recently put my Sunshine Days body spray, um, I was using this more over the other one which is Paris Amour but I guess line wise you won't see like a huge huge like jump. So this is where I was when I put it in the project and here I am now. I've honestly forgotten to use body sprays. I've just been really busy with school that sometimes like I don't even have the brain to think like oh my god let me put on a body spray. And I usually have one of the dogs around me as soon as I get out of the shower and I don't want to like put all this stuff in the air that is very pungent to them so I've honestly been forgetting to use a lot of them but I was using the sunshine days most often than the Paris Amour one um, so then the Paris Amour one there is a very very tiny um, line difference so if I can just get that to settle so that's where I was 
this last time I'm like tipping it last time around this is where I am now I honestly you only use pairs of more like three times since my last update again I've been using this one more um, but I love Paris more when I want to feel like fall and stuff and then this one I use if I'm just like this one I use when I actually like leave the house now and then this one I use just like more on an everyday basis when it's like oh my god I'm about to do school spray 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 and then oh, a little bit of pep like still hate the fact that I have to do online school but at least they smell good <laughs> right sure and then last but not least, I had put in a candle. I am not in a rush to use this up, but I definitely do want to use the Veluspa Rose Petal Ice Cream Candle by the end of the year. I've only burnt this once because, like I said, I always have a dog around me and your dog shouldn't really be breathing this in. So, only got to burn it once for a little bit. Um, since it does taper down, I... I don't think this is going to take like super long because there's less product, but I still love the scent. I just have so many of these and I'm starting to collect candles again, thanks to Ardent Candle. <laughs> Which, um, they released a new candle, like cereal candle fragrance. It was like the Cinnamon Toast Crunch one. I think they're currently sold out of it though. And I know that he's going to repackage his candles from mason jars to like an actual candle packaging. So... Yeah, I am going to wait until that happens to try out the Cinnamon Toast Crunch candle and then hopefully go through more candles by then because, again, that collection is starting to build up and we don't want that because I do not need more clutter in my life, truthfully. But that is that. That is my update. It took a lot longer for me to film this for some reason. I think I'm just in a very chatty mood. Um, let me know. If you actually use fall fragrances in the fall or are you like me and you just use whatever you have on hand slash think is kind of appropriate out of everything you have but it's not like specifically fall or are you a die hard fall scent person are you using those fall scents that Bath and Body Works came out with right now and if you do tell me the country you live in so I have an idea as to the climate because little old me in Arizona in fall is still using like summer favorites <laughs> but I hope you guys are having a great rest of your day and I will see you guys all in my next one bye